Heavyweight Championship, Damian Priest versus Drew McIntyre. Who do y'all got winning? And who do y'all got losing, man? Hold on. Let me make up this uh this poll. All right. I've been waiting to get into this one, man. Here's the thing with this one. You can go either way. You could. You could legitimately go either way with this one. You could have Drew get his moment finally. The moment he definitely, a lot of people thought he deserved at the first clash at the castle. You could have him have that moment here. The crowd is going to be nothing but pro Drew here. Just like they was at the first clash at the castle. You can have him have that moment and actually win it. And actually walk out of Scotland as your new world heavyweight champion. You could do it. I don't think anyone in this chat would have a problem. I wouldn't have a problem. I would probably get a little bit emotional because Drew deserves it. He has been killing it. But what's the better story, y'all? It's all set up so conveniently for Drew to win. Drew just beat Finn Balor on Monday Night Raw. And because he beat Finn Balor, because he does, he beat Finn Balor, the rest of Judgment Day, quote-unquote, is barred from ringside, right? So how does this happen? How does Damian Priest retain? How does Damian Priest walk out of Scotland as your world heavyweight champion still? Someone already put it in the chat. Hoodie punk. <laughs> You know, once you pull on a black hood, you become invinci invisible. What poetic way would it be? And this is this is why I start getting into my fantasy booking. How poetic would it be if Drew McIntyre hits the Claymore? He's about to win it. It's over. He hits the Claymore. Crowd's going crazy. He goes for the pin. The one the two and then the ref gets pulled from the bottom rope just like it happened at the first clash at the castle but this time it's not the bloodline it's not solo it's cm punk it's cm punk under the black hoodie shades of what happened at the first first clash at the castle and that distraction that 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 situation drew is pissed he's livid he can't believe it and because he takes his eye off of off of damian priest damian priest hits him with his finisher for the one the two the three and drew loses once again because of cm punk bro Same situation. Had the championship won. But someone interfered in a black fucking hoodie and cost them again. When I say, of course the crowd's going to go nuclear for this. Of course. Of course. He's going to go. The crowd's going to go insane. But this, this is the better story. And someone made a great point. What's your name? Optilium? Op Optilium? Tilium? Gunther is winning at Summer SummerSlam, so no reason for Drew just Drew to win just to lose in two months. That's another point. That's why I said this. I have no problem with Drew winning, but Drew would literally be only holding the championship. I want to say for Money in the Bank. I, when let me, what's the next pay per view after this? Let me look at this. Uh, hold on. Let me look at this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Du, 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 du. I'm checking right now. So we got Clash at the Castle. The next one is Money in the Bank. And then the next one after that is SummerSlam. Money in the Bank is July 6th in Toronto. SummerSlam is August 3rd in Cleveland. Yeah. Yeah. 
doesn't make sense for him to only hold the championship for money in the bank and then SummerSlam he loses it because we know Gunther's not losing. And guess what's after SummerSlam? WWE Bash in Berlin. Gunther's going to be, he's going to be loved when he goes out there, bro. He's going to be loved. And it only makes sense for him to be the champion as we go out there. I hate to say it, bro. I really do hate to say it. But uh, yeah, this it makes sense for Drew to lose here. They've set it up. He's Drew still taking his shots at CM Punk, and CM Punk made it very clear. I'm going to make your life a li a living hell. He hasn't said nothing. He's let Drew talk once again. Drew hasn't learned his lesson. He keeps talking. He keeps poking the bear. It would only make sense if CM Punk did screw him at home, screw him over at home, in his home place, hometown and everything, because it's going to make the crash out that much more better, bro. The crash out is going to be that much better, because now, now, this is where I get into more of my fantasy booking. So say Drew is livid, as he should be. We got money in the bank next. It makes sense for Drew to enter in money in the bank. Granted, you can say it's hypocritical because you just got mad at Damian Priest for cashing in on you. But for you, it's like, you know what? Screw that. I need to do what I got to do to get my title opportunity, right? To get another shot at the championship. And there's some good storylines there. Because guess what? Sheamus already announced. I believe he's going to be in the money in the bank as well. You have Drew in there too. Have them go back and forth because it can be a situation where Sheamus wanted him to win. Like, hey, man, I want you to do what you got to do. But if Sheamus didn't win, doesn't, well, Drew doesn't win, of course, Sheamus is going to want to make sure that he wins money in the bank, right? So there's already a story right there. Jay Uso is also in the money in the bank match. There's a story right there. And Kaiser. He's in the Money in the Bank match. There's a story right there with Kaiser and and um, and Sheamus. So this is why I say the good stories are going to be intertwined just within this match alone. And just when Drew's about to win it, just when Drew's about to grab the briefcase, once again, CM Punk screws him over. And that we're going to, you want, you want to keep this situation of CM Punk is doing every, every time Drew gets this close to his moment, CM Punk stops him. He drew one at WrestleMania. S drew was talking his trash, you know, showboating and it cost him. CM Punk screwed him, cost him, and he ended up getting cashed on. Another situation right after that. He could have had a one-on-one -on -one match with Damian Priest for the championship. Once again, CM Punk cost him. Now he's in a situation where he goes for the championship for a third time against Damian Priest. And this time at Clash of the Castle, CM Punk cost him. So now he's trying to get his way back to the championship scene. So he goes for the Money in the Bank briefcase. And once again, CM Punk cost him. And what makes it even poetic, and some of y'all are saying in the chat, if Jay was the one to win it, oh my God, bro. So at that point, you've extended this feud, multiple PLEs, you've extended it to the point where they haven't had to, they haven't had to touch each other, like fight each other, put hands on each other, because CM Punk is still trying to get 100%. You've extended the feud. Now Drew is going to be in ultimate crash out mode. He's going to be in ultimate crash out mode, and he's going to want to murder CM Punk. He's going to want to kill him. Because every single time he's gotten close to the championship, he's cost him at every moment. SummerSlam come around, you literally have your probably the feud of the night.